A very good afternoon to all of you. Respected Chairperson, Professor Pijuth Kanti Panigrahi, Head Department of Library and Information Sciences, Calcutta University. Respected Co-Chairperson, Dr. G. Stephan, Editor, Blog Section, Liz, Link, India. I'm Parishmita Goswami, Lecturer from the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Assam Royal Global University. Today, on this online seminar on online teaching learning, issues and challenges, I'm going to present on the topic NPTEL and its impact on technology education. Just a second. Yeah, I'll just, yes. So we are in the full screen mode. So these are some of the contents that I'm going to cover during uh, this seminar. So in the introduction, I would like to begin with MOOC. MOOC is Education Reinvented. With the advent of MOOC platform, learning no longer adhered to the confines of a physical classroom, but could be conducted via the web and the most important advantage being greater reach. Established in 2008, MOOC is a web-based platform that provides unlimited participants from around the world to access numerous courses from the best institutes of learning. At the beginning, the MOOC had a strong and could be collaborative philosophy, see MOOC, but this philosophy has evolved to a more commercial sense through XMOOC, which is a more traditional approach to teaching learning, albeit through the web. The so CMOOC uh, focused mainly on community and connections, and XMOOC focus, focuses on scalability. These are some of the features of MOOC. Open content, open registration, free of charge, real-time interaction, instructor, self-motivation and assessment, and community learning. So the concept of teaching via the web has opened the floodgates of a multitude of possibilities where anyone with a knack for learning are exposed to a pool of resources to choose from. So with the MOOC courses, online education began to be more commercialized. Thus, universities like MIT, Stanford, Harvard, etc. collaborated on new MOOC courses over the MOOC, new MOOC courses, uh, with MIT launching its first not-for-profit course platform, MITx, in 2012. It was renamed as edX as it was joined by Harvard and the University of California, Berkeley, and eventually had a tie-up with Google in 2013. edX is one of the major MOOC providers, providing access to over 2,000 courses from 140 leading institutes from around the world, a lot of which courses are free. So these are some of the universities that collaborate over the MOOC uh, edX platform. And it was initially confined to the universities of USA, but now it has extended its collaboration to universities from Asia as well. These are some of the famous MOOC providing courses, like uh, MOOC providing platforms like NPTEL. We have Coursera, Udacity, edX, uh, SWAM, Udemy, etc. Now we'd like to um, turn our focus to NPTEL. NPTEL, a massive project funded by MHRD, Government of India, was initiated by seven IITs and also uh, Indian Institute of Science Bangalore and the Carnegie Mellon University in 2003. NPTEL is the hub of one of the most elaborate online repositories of um, technical education. At its inception, NPTEL identified five disciplines, civil, computer science, electrical, electronics and communication, and mechanical engineering. However, uh, by the end of the second phase uh, in 2014, NPTEL had completed developing over 600 web and video courses in all major branches of engineering and physical sciences and uh, at the undergraduate and postgraduate level. And its most important advantage was a tie up with YouTube. So YouTube channel for NPTEL videos is the most subscribed educational channel and has over 56,000 hours of quality video content. So students began to be no longer confined to the boundaries of an inflexible closed structure, but they could now opt for any subject of their interest, mostly for free. So this is uh, the portal 
in YouTube for the computer science and engineering uh, courses that are provided by NPTEL. So NPTEL follows the four quadrant MOOC structure, which can be specified as, so we have the first quadrant, which is your e-tutorial that has your web and video, um, video content, simulations and virtual labs. The second quadrant is e-content, uh, which includes e-books, text, self-instructional materials and case studies. The third quadrant is web resources and the fourth quadrant is self-assessment that includes MCQ uh, quizzes, assignments and solutions, online feedback through discussion forums and the setting up of the FAQ. NPTEL courses. Since the inception of the online open, uh, open online course in March 2014, over 2,000 web and video courses are offered by NPTEL over a span of 23 disciplines. So enrolling for NPTEL courses are free and there is no specific eligibility criteria. The course duration ranges from 4, 8 to 12 weeks. NPTEL course registrations are opened for two times in a year. First phase opens in the mid of June and the courses begin from July or August. And the second phase of the registration starts in mid-December and the courses commence from the month of January. Uh, one of the important things to note here is that a single participant for, can, can opt for as many courses as his or her interest, but NPTEL, course, NPTEL courses also offers certification, in which case the maximum number of courses allowed to be taken by a student per semester is six. So now we'll be talking about the NPTEL online certification called NOC. Since March 2014, NPTEL began to offer online certification course called the NPTEL online certification, NOC. Though, the, uh, though uh, I have already said that the enrollment in NPTEL courses are for free, but in case of certification courses, a nominal fee of rupees 1000 per course is charged. At the end of the certification course, a proctored examination is conducted. The examinations are conducted in 130 cities of India for which the learner must be present in person. 25% of the final marks are considered from the assignment submitted and 75% from the final exams. So on the right hand side, there is an example of an online certificate that is provided by, uh, that is provided at the end of every NPTEL certification course. Now, advantage of taking NOC. The most important advantage of taking NOC amongst all of these is advanced courses, but the others are better understanding. So ensures understanding of the fundamentals of various subjects from the best faculties in the field. Then advanced courses. There are a lot of advanced courses which fall outside the realm of a normal curriculum, all of which courses are available to the learners through NPTEL. So it so happens that in a normal curriculum, even in the field of, for example, computer science, uh, courses on machine learning and courses on data sciences cannot be, um, cannot be covered in its entirety. So in that case, anyone who is interested to go for higher and further studies can take up these advanced courses through NPTEL. Self-motivation. It promotes self-assessment and self-motivation in students to learn new courses. Strong resume. A certificate from NPTEL adds value to one's resume and prepares the student for better job opportunities in the industries as the certificates bear the stamps of the top IITs in the country. For faculties, uh, NPTEL has refresher courses and AICT approved FDPs and for professionals, it ensures upskilling and reskilling uh, through which they can keep themselves abreast with the newer technology. So these are the 23 disciplines across which NPTEL provides certification courses. So and the impact of NPTEL on technology education. This I can say with a certainty that NPTEL video lectures have been a lifesaver for engineering graduates. The few of the impacts of NPTEL um, can be stated as obsolete technology. So in the ever-changing field of technology, the biggest challenge is that a technology becomes obsolete within the blink of an eye. So NPTEL courses help to keep the technologies upgraded with the emerging technologies. Next is exam preparation. So NPTEL video lectures are a major resource uh, for study for competitive examinations. Easier access. Introduction of such non-for-profit non courses uh, like NPTEL has helped in removing the barriers of cost, location, and access. Change fields. So uh, a number of times this so seen 
that um, that a student changes fields from one branch to the other. Like for example, a mechanical student can opt for computer science subjects or the vice versa. And in that case, learning of the new courses has become easier through the natural courses via YouTube. Self-motivated learning. From the pool of diverse disciplines to choose from, NPTEL has been truly impactful in promoting self-motivated learning as per one's field of interest. Next is your possibilities. From exploring new interests, entering into the job market to bridging the gaps between academia and industry, MOOC courses have ignited the curious minds to probe deeper into expanding their intellectual ability. Next is limitation of MOOC. Now the question is, can online education be a replacement for the traditional method of classroom teaching? And if so, then what are the barriers? So excess. Now excess is one of the most important advantage of the MOOC courses, but it can also act as a disadvantage. Because in a number of, in number of places, there are um, no proper schools with no proper classroom settings or no proper blackboards. And in, and in such cases, MOOC courses or online education is still a long way to go. Next is internet content connectivity is a must. And in places, in a lot of places like India or any other third world countries, internet connectivity is not a luxury that everyone has. Next is good infrastructure. So MOOC to be incorporated into the curriculum, which is done, which is nowadays done quite uh, often. It will require a good infrastructure for a digital classroom. Next is the lack of uh, classroom interaction, which is probably the most important reason why online education will never be able to act as a replacement for traditional teaching learning. So that is a lack of interaction because uh, online education confines a student to a classroom alone, along with a laptop, and that is never enough uh, for the entire process of learning to be um, effectively done. The conclusion. So, the advent of MOOC courses has contributed many folds in changing and improving the age-old rigid educational structure. Technology is no longer confined to a single field but is actually an amalgamation of a number of interdisciplinary subjects. And NPTEL has been a major platform that supports the propagation of quality technical education by ensuring knowledge in such interdisciplinary fields. NPTEL courses can be studied for free by the students via YouTube, paving their way to better understanding of the courses and that too from the best instructors from reputed organizations. MOOC platform has aided in bringing together learners from all age groups and diverse geographical locations under the common umbrella of knowledge. And PTEL platforms developed by the best minds of the IITs and IISC have paved the way for a new revolution in the process of teaching learning, helping not only the students, but also the faculties to uplift the overall quality of technical education in the country. So to summarize, I would like to say, that education is the only means to pave the way to our dreams. Education is also the only way out of poverty and education leads to creativity. The schools look vastly different around the globe and with open education, the scenario has changed yet again. But schools, be it online or offline, are the only tools that can make mankind reach its full potential. Schools are the only way out of poverty and the only way for our dreams to be realized. And online education is certainly a massive leap into a promising future. So these are some of the references that I have used for preparing this seminar. Thank you. I'm open for questions.